Well, the Cardinals report for training camp tomorrow. ASU reports to Camp Town, Arizona on August 5th. And next Monday, most high schools in the state will begin their official football practices. Now, most of the Valley High Schools are escaping the heat for football camps in cooler regions. The summer grind finds the Mesa Desert Ridge football team camping in Winslow Team 12's Cameron Cox along for the journey. <laughs> Three hours northeast of the valley, people come to take it easy and stand on the corner in Winslow, Arizona. But every year around this time, high school football teams come to put in the work. Got it, gentlemen? Yes, Get a break. Get where you need to be. Let's go. Welcome to Camp Winslow. When you think of Camp Winslow, what comes to mind? Running, throwing up, and a lot of practices. <laughs> part football camp, part summer camp. From the food, snacks, to the living conditions. Why you got toilet paper right here, bro? <laughs> you ain't even supposed to be eating in here. I get my four cards, and I get his four cards. If you look over there, all coaches are lined up over there. We don't bring cell phones. When they go home, they say, Mom, I appreciate your cooking. I appreciate the bed, and I appreciate that cell phone. Desert Ridge head coach Jeremy Hathcock has been bringing teams up here for 11 years. Why? Because this week always turns a team into a brotherhood. Kids need to socialize, they need to interact and learn each other and learn to develop that brotherhood. So that's why I like coming here. It's tradition. Just ask our 2011 Friday Night Fever Defensive Player of the Year, Jags defensive line coach, Damani Mosby. There you go, hey, hey, see the hand, run to it, run. That's not changed one bit. It's not any trees, you just out here working. And that's exactly what separates us from other teams. Get up early, a normal day starts at 4.30 in the morning. By five, you're running the famous dirt hill. What's hard about it? The dirt is way tougher than the game. It brings you together as a family when you run the hill with your teammates. When you see our kids getting dirty, they find a sense of pride that we're doing something that nobody else is doing. And that's just the warm up. Three to four practices follow, meetings, a workout, and lights out around 9 o'clock. He's <laughs> Hey, Mike. The Jags return 17 starters this season, so there's some expectation. But they know once camp is done, the real work begins. Adversity builds you, never destroys you. That's what we tell our kids out here. We're going through adverse times, and we think, hey, it, it's not meant to kill you, it's meant to build you. And I don't think you understand it until you get through it and you look on the other side. So that's our main message every single day to our kids about adversity. After I leave this camp, it's, we got to do what we got to do to win. Y'all finna hear me this year, bro. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> All right, hey, Friday Night Fever coming your way, August 30th. And I'm going to tell you something, Coach Hathcock, he is a beast. I mean, just a great, great coach. I enjoy him, love him to death. I look out for that Desert Rich football team. Mm -hmm. Coop, I love that team building. <laughs> no doubt. Camp on his own. Absolutely. Yep. All right, Coop, thanks.